Now for these questions, we need to multiply whole numbers by 100. And we can do that just by putting two zeros on the end. First, we have 63 times 100. That's 6,300. So 63, the number we started with, with two zeros on the end. And we can do that because 63 times 1 is of course 63. But then, if we have two end zeros in a multiplication, we need two end zeros in our answer. Now, what is 700 times 100? That's 70,000. So 700 with two zeros on the end. And that's because 700 times 1 is 700. So 700 times 100 is 70,000. You could also count that in this multiplication, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 end zeros, and 7 times 1 is 7. So because we have 4 end zeros in our question, we need 1, 2, 3, 4 end zeros in our answer. So now we have 5,008 times 100. That's 500,800. So 5,008 with two zeros on the end. And we can do that because 5,008 times 1 is 5,008. And if we have two end zeros in the question, we have two end zeros in the answer. Now it's really important to understand that putting two zeros on the end is an effective way to multiply whole numbers by 100. But it doesn't work for decimals. If we have decimals, we need to use a different method. But to see why it works, let's think back to this first question. We had 63 and we needed to multiply by 100. But remember, multiplying by 100 is the same as multiplying by 10 and then by 10 again. And we know that when we multiply by 10, digits move one place to the left. So if we're multiplying by 100, that's like multiplying by 10 twice. And that's why the digits move two places to the left. But to make it clear that the six is now in our thousands and the three in our hundreds, we need to write zeros in our empty place value columns for our tens and ones. Then we had 700 times 100. Again, multiplying by 100 means moving the digits two place values to the left. We can write zeros in our empty tens and ones column to give us our answer. And then we started with 5008. Multiplying by 100 is like multiplying by 10 and then by 10 again. So that's why the digits move two squares to the left. We write zeros in our empty place value columns to give us our answer 500,800.